Hello everybody, we're going to be making a couple different kind of beats today, just learning uh, learning a few different styles of how beats can be made and the first style that we're going to be doing is going to be doing like it's going to be the snare on the second and fourth, it's got two four accent, so um, the way to best see that would be if um, There we are. If we just get something something light like a symbol just to just to see what the four is. There it is. In order to get that to stop doing that when you just want to hear it once, just click that little button. It'll stop it from moving. Um We don't want open. I'm gonna go with a closed tie hat for this. Just, just, um, just to be a reference point. So the way you, the way that I'm scrolling in here is I'm just using the mouse wheel, putting the mouse there, and I'm scrolling in with the mouse wheel. So this is this is one. Control D is going to duplicate that stuff, and this is going to be pretty quick because it's so they're very close together the way the sample goes so if we move these out to each one of these points here have we have 1.1 1 1.3 .1, 1 2.1 2.3 2 so what that means is this is the first measure and this is the third part of this, the first measure so if we have scroll in a little bit then we have 1 2 3 4 and then 2.1 2 3 4 so these are your these are your measures and this is what we're talking about when we mean a 2 and a 4 beat so with the hi hat going straight, this is what that's going to sound like, and this is just your regular four, you know, four. Now we're on our way to making our beat. So, first part of your beat that you're probably going to want to worry about. Hmm, I don't like that I said that. Um, got a kick. Is usually a good place to start. That's it. That one's not too offensive. Let's go with that one. So, uh, kick. We need a kick. Snare. That seems good. Um, so if we look, if we look here, and we just we can mute this and use these just as counting markers through the beat. So the first one that we have, we're gonna go with a kick on the first kick on the third and our accent is going to come from the snare so we're going to go with the snare on the two because this is the first one that we're doing two four accent snare on the two and a snare on the four and what that ends up sounding like if you play that back it's going to be now most uh to keep it to keep it you know a little thicker most people would just add add that again and once again the way that I'm duplicating these is just control D while they're selected so that's how that's happening and then and then that back with the extra kick there is going to sound like this which is uh which is a nice standard if you want to loop this just to hear it back for yourself click the loop button and uh, I'm gonna figure this out while this is happening Okay. I don't know why it doesn't, uh, doesn't anyway Wait, so that's the first one second one that we have we're gonna come up with oops second beat that we're gonna work on uh, we're gonna hear and we're gonna see is if we just take this one out and add the snare here and that's a s accent on the third and this is uh very very popular in rock and then that sort of that sort of stuff so um, dubstep as well you're gonna hear this a lot um, the kick is not necessarily gonna follow the four steps each time but this is what I mean is that you can take this and have it have it go through uh, 
like pretty much any way that you want it. If you want it to not lock up for you like that, you hold shift and you can move it around pretty much anywhere that you want. And you're gonna use that line to line it up with different things. So that, with the kick like that will sound like this. And then you're gonna be using that if you see now that I, to do, to select that I just click and, and drag the part that I want um, to loop. So, you know, as neat as as neat as that is, it, it they generally will sound empty without a hi hat. So that's why the hi hat usually keeps the four count. And with the hi hat, that beat goes from sounding like this to like this. So that's the second style of beat. The third style of beat is. Um, one that I generally refer and think about as um, Night of the Phantom of the Opera, not Night of the Opera. It's a '50s movie. Night of the Opera. It it's a it's on the fourth. It's when the accent is on the fourth, so the last beat before the measure starts over. Um, what you're generally going to get is this this double kick before uh, you hit on this snare. Uh, you like the you, this beat has been heard before, like easily. So that's what that sounds like. And then with the hi hats. Now, in order to get that triplet kind of uh, feel. The only way to describe it is to show it. So the, this is the fourth beat. This is just what it looks like from the from the last one. This is the fourth beat, just, just zooming in a bit, little bit uh, by putting the mouse up there and scrolling on the mouse wheel. So if we listen to this, I wanted to change from the first one to this. I wanted to go boom, 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 boom. Tsh. So uh, we're gonna have that come over here, slight in there. So if we listen to that, and then add this one to the two point five, then we get, and then we want that last one where it was in the first place. So we're gonna put this. Put that back and that's how we get that beat so that that's triplets this is not in time as you can see through the fours it's it's not in time but if you take this whole thing that's control a to do that control d to duplicate it and then the only thing is it's going to duplicate right beside it so you're going to have to make sure that it is in time because there's times you add control A again, control D to duplicate, and then you move it again, and then you can scroll back to zoom out, pull this whole thing in here. And then now to change your beat so that it's not just straight sounding through the entire thing, you can go in and take out a couple kicks or put in a couple kicks or move some kicks around or you know leave you know leave it pretty blank of kicks or or add you know add some extra snare in there just to finish it off and then that back so that's just with a little little tweaking to different things and that's just trial and error it's all trial and error